Hello and welcome to my unboxing or unwrapping in this case and first look at the Black Library Calendar 2018. Um, this is just something that I'd put on the wall or in the office or whatever. I wouldn't use it as like a you know, physical calendar, I wouldn't write on it, I wouldn't, you know, I'd probably use my phone or my computer or something like that just to, to make a note of uh, events and things. But it's a nice little uh, thing to go on the wall um, that showcases some stunning artwork. So without further ado, uh, we will carefully sort of cut into this. There we go, I think we've made the initial incision. And I'll just take all this shiny cover off. And we will. So the first thing I'll say is uh, one of these calendars will cost you £10. And these are all the, hopefully you can see these. Uh, so you've got January, it looks like you've got Fulgrim. So you pretty much got uh, a load of Horus Heresy artwork as well as um, some Age of Sigma and all the rest of it. So it's not Warhammer 40,000 specific, it's just uh, Black Library, um, which obviously deal with and sell, well, Games Workshop obviously sell the, the novels too, but um, Black Library, all of the novels and law books and things like that typically go through Black Library. So we'll have a look at these uh, one by one. But it looks like for January you've got uh, Fulgrim. I think it would follow on to February rather than that way. Yeah, that is the case. So yeah, so it goes January, February, March, uh, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So that looks like some kind of Mechanicum type Inquisitor. That looks like some kind of Underhive type of thing, type Warhammer. Um, that is Sanguinius there. Then you've got some uh, Caradrons, I think they are. And then you've got the Salamanders. That looks like uh, 40k Inquisitor type stuff. That's Thousand Suns. That's Age of Sigma. Oh, it's difficult to see there. Looks like Iron Warriors. Then you've got Gilliman, and then you've got an Age of Sigmar for December. So let's have a look at these in all their glory, in the large full, full size glory that they that they have. So, so this is January. As you can see, stunning piece of work there with Fulgrim and the Emperor's Children. Beautiful. It's a nice sort of snowy one too. There's sort of snow falling, bits and bobs happening. Really nice, stunning piece of work, that. Uh, okay. And then you've got your typical sort of calendar days. It's good because it goes from Monday to, to Sunday, unlike some that go from Saturday to um, Sunday, or um, they have Saturday and Sunday at the front. It, yeah, a bit odd, but uh, there you go. Uh, the Palantine Phoenix by Josh Reynolds, and the artist is uh, Mikhail Savia. Wow, look at that one. Corsair, so this is uh, Corsair, the face of the void. That'll probably give you a better um, view. Um, so Corsair, face of the void, uh, book by James Swallow, and the artist is Johan Grenier. Oh, they've got some quotes at the, at the uh, bottom, which I think I should read. Uh, My brothers leave behind them a trail of worlds broken to the wheel, scars of fire and blood carved across the face of the galaxy. I think I know that there is a better way. That's by Fulgrim. Um, so the Corsair one is, I will shoot you in that excuse for a face if you don't do your damn job, Kiteel. More speed now. So that's pretty pretty awesome. Uh, this one is the Eight Lamentations uh, Spear of Shadows by Josh Reynolds. The artist is Johan uh, Grenier again. And the quote is, in the beginning there was fire and from fire came heat, from heat shape and that shape split into eight. Grungni Duarden Smith God. So there you go. Looks pretty awesome. I really like that artwork. And then Eight Lamentations, Spear of Shadows. Okay, so this is really odd. Because um, <laughs> it looks like you've got two of the same um, for March and April. This is really odd. March twice. Maybe there are two Marches in 2018. I don't know. But Games Workshop think that there are. So that's really interesting. So pretty much they're giving you two Marches just in case you don't like that one, they they give you that one. That That's interesting. And then if you really like that one so much, you can have 
April as that one. <laughs> it's really, it's quite bizarre actually that they're giving you two of the same for, for 40K. Wow, that's odd, isn't it? That is odd. Um, I might as well read, read that one with uh, Sanguinius. Uh, this one just says, um, this world was corrupt, now it is a corpse. And that's uh, Lion L. Johnson. Doesn't look like he's there though, because that looks like that is Sanguinius, because he's got the wings. Uh, and then you get to May and you've got, we are going to fill this ship from stern to bow with every puff of ether gold the sky has to offer. Um, so overlords of the Iron Dragon, that sounds pretty cool. Uh, so you go from May to June. Horus Heresy Old Earth by Nick Kime and the artist is Neil Roberts. Looks incredible, look at all those chaos there. Brilliant, so that's June. We have fought in the shadows long enough. No more shall we hide like beaten dogs, wary of those who impose themselves as our masters and destroyers. Um, Shadrach Medusin, war leader of the Iron Hands. Then we've got uh, July, which is agent of the throne, blood and lies. John French and the artist is K.D. Stanton. There are creatures that exist a shadow's width away. They do not live, but thirst for the souls of the living. What manifested in the flesh of your enforcer contact was one of these creatures. I've confirmed your death sentence by telling you this. Ianthe, agent of the throne. So that definitely looks sort of like Inquisition. She's got an Inquisition. I like that dude, look at that, with his mechadendrites or whatever they are. That's awesome. Um, Thousand Sons. Alien, beast, if either of you take a single step closer, this turns from punishment to execution. And that was Ezekiel Abaddon, Master of the Black Legion. So you've got uh, Korn and the Thousand Sun there. Aaron Dembski Bowden and the artist Raymond Swanland. September, uh, Hallowed Nights Play Garden, Josh Reynolds and the artist is Matthias de Mulder. Come, there is red work to be done, and I would have it finished quickly. Goddess of the Steel Soul, Lord Celestant of the Hallowed Knights. Uh, October, Ferris Manus, the Gorgon of Medusa, David Geimer, artist is Mikhail Saviour. Um, the quote is, the crusade is changing and all must be proven anew. I will save the 413th. I will show Rebute what my legion is cap capable of as I drag his warriors from the precipice. Ferris Manus, Pramuk of the Iron Hands. Yeah, lovely bit of artwork that. And then November, Dark Imperium by Guy, Guy Haley and the artist is Igor Sid. In the face of their fire, put down your armies and your legions, generals of the Imperium, it is time to scour this world clean. Rebute Gilliman, Primarch of the Ultramarines. So there he is in all his glory. And then December, lovely bit of artwork here. It's sort of very sort of at the front, at the forefront. Um, this is uh, Black Rift by Josh Reynolds and the artist is Alessandro Baldassaroni. Forward for Sigmar, for Azaheim, and for the realm celestial. Aureus Adamantine, Lord Celestant of the Hammers of Sigmar. So that's December and that is the end of your Black Library 2018 calendar. Look, incredible bits of artwork and it's going to look fantastic in the office or, or wherever. Yeah, very interesting that you've got a couple of... Uh, marches in there but uh, nonetheless um looks like a great calendar uh, looking forward to being part of the artwork every month anyway thank you ever so much for joining me today thank you for watching the emperor protects